Sonny's. Oh, finds him out. What a catch. Again, again, again. Ball is out again. And it's the second return for a touchdown. The NFL Academy, and tonight we've got a really special game for you against the Nuremberg Rams. It will be the Academy against the Rams coming out under the lights here at the University of Loughborough. But before we get to get to that, let's have a short video recap of the last time the NFL Academy took the field, which was against Dusseldorf in Dusseldorf just this last week. Don't sleep on the version, guys. That's what I said. Got you. Good game. Uh, I'm signing out. Yeah, man. What are some funny things? Welcome back to the live feed. That was a great win for the NFL Academy. Who won that game, 51 points to 19 against the Dusseldorf. Panthers with Jack Trody himself scoring twice. Arthur Debochi got a score on the board, as did Brian Winter. A couple of guys we won't actually see tonight in this game. But one guy you might see tonight in the game is Jules Baron. And we uh, we got a special commitment from him just before the game started. All right, this is another exciting, great day. We got a uh, another player, and I've always said the academy is a place to come, grow, and go. And this is an opportunity for young Jules, he came here, he grew here, and now he's gonna go. And you're gonna tell us where you're gonna go. We are so excited for you. Thank you, coach. Premièrement, du coup, je veux remercier Dieu parce que sans lui, je serais pas ici. Je veux aussi remercier ma famille parce qu'elle m'a aidé à à venir ici et jouer pour la NFL Academy. Et aussi remercier mon équipe et mes amis en Belgique. So uh, first thing first, I want to thank God uh, because without him, I would not be here. Uh, I also want to thank the, my family, my mom and my dad that did everything for me. Um, and uh, also a shout out to my team and my friends back in Belgium. Um, so with that say, uh, I'm happy to announce that uh, for the three next year, I will play for the Cougar. Yeah. Awesome. Congratulations. That's awesome. Awesome opportunity. You got a big fan club behind you, man. <laughs> Great job. Great job. Welcome back to University of Loughborough. Friday Night Lights upcoming. And I just want to introduce my co-host tonight. The mighty Tashayan Boyce is with me. Uh, NFL Academy alumni lead and former NFL Academy running back, NFL participation coordinator. Great to see you, Shane. Great to see you, Kyle. It's been a pleasure. You know, I missed doing commentary with you. So, you know, what a great night, great opportunity for us to do this again. You know, Friday Night Lights, the Academy versus the Rams. So it's going to be an interesting game. Can't wait to see things get rolling. 
Last time we were together, we were at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium under the big lights. Now we're under a tent that's just about to blow away. It's very windy here, isn't it, at uh, University of Loughborough tonight? But the light's good, the lighting's good, and we'll obviously have some of the floodlights coming through. But do you think the game, uh, the wind will affect the game at all today? I don't think so. I mean, both teams look really, really good, you know, so regardless of whether they're football players, they know that they have to adapt to any con any weather condition. So it should be a great game from both sides. And, you know, even if the weather does, we're going to see a lot of running today. Now, if you're watching on NFL UK and this is the first time you've seen the NFL Academy, where well, you're in for a treat. They were launched in September 2019. And uh, the NFL Academy uses American football to create life-changing opportunities for student athletes aged 16 to 19. And we'll be telling you all about the many athletes that have gone from the NFL Academy into Div 1 schools in the, in the United States of America, into Div 2 schools. And as you just heard from Jules Bron, even into Canada to play, uh, to, to play Cougars football up there in North America. And today, the Dusseldorf Panthers, a similar outfit based in Nuremberg they have their own talented and excellent prospects many of whom got into uh, American Div 1 schools standout that we spoke to with their head coach earlier was Justin Okoronoko who uh, went to Alabama University as a linebacker which is huge and was rated the number one international recruit into American football in in those Div 1 schools amazing so so amazing Kyle you know just just goes to show the growth of the game even in Germany there's so many athletes now that are transitioning and playing more football and even with the academy there's a lot of Germans now that are integrating into the academy so it just goes to show that football is really going internationally and it's, it's just great to see these athletes you know taking you know great football into America as well and competing with the best of the best athletes you're looking at the Nuremberg Rams on the screen they're lined up as the referees come to the 50-yard line uh, on that NFL shield the home of the NFL Academy and uh, the Nuremberg Rams will be a talented outfit today so we'd like to see a competitive game obviously we're biased right but we want to see competitive competitive football of course I'm, I'm never gonna I'm never gonna bet against the NFL Academy that's my team and I'm always gonna be riding for the NFL Academy but you know they need a challenge they need a game you know these last couple of games it's been pretty easy for them so you know we need to see what the Rams can do unbeaten against the European competition really since 2019 the NFL Academy just that one loss they had against IMG American competition but they got that back last time IMG and NFL Academy played back last year and then they finished it off with that great Erasmus Hall victory in Tottenham Hotspur Stadium did the NFL Academy to finish off last season how do you think they've started this season with their first couple of games I think, you know, they've been on a great start. You know, as we said, you know, the one loss against AMG, you know, they, they took that personally. You know, they knew that American opposition is something that, you know, they needed to be able to obtain. And once they had the, op the second opportunity to verse them again, they beat them. So, you know, when it comes to U Europe, no, no team can really stop the NFL Academy at the moment. So far, they've played two games of the NFL Academy. One here, which uh, I was commentating on with uh, your colleague Sam Fenton, called back for the NFL Academy. Uh, and they won that against Schwabish Hall, 74 points to 21. So the offense just had a field day there. Arthur Debochi got a couple of picks and a kick return for a touchdown. So really putting up big numbers. And then went out to Dusseldorf, as you heard, and you saw some of the highlights from that and won that one, 51-19. So this offense is really clicking, isn't it? Really, really clicking. You know, as you know, Jack Troney, you know, the, the quarterback, he's been, you know, electric on the field you know on and off the field you know he's a real leader and he's really really leading this team and leading this offense as well so it's great to see you know the play that he's putting on display and i can't wait to see him in action again tonight friday night lights and do you think we'll see jules baron on the field today it's just we saw him signing for the cougars do you think he'll get a chance to come on or will it depend how competitive the game is i mean from what I've heard, it's his last game tonight. You know, he's going to be, you know, going to Cougars tomorrow. So, I mean, it's only right that he gets the opportunity to play tonight. You know, I, I think the coaches will, you know, let him get some time and, you know, just to really celebrate that, this last game before he goes. So there are the captains coming out to the field. The Nuremberg Rams in white with the gold bottoms and the NFL Academy in there. Rather intimidating, all black today. You can see Oscar Poiser there, number 17. Offensive lineman and Jack Troney, Giacomo Troney, the starting quarterback for the NFL Academy. As we get the coin toss underway, and we'll try and follow along and give you a sense of what's going on down on the field. In terms of, you know, 
the coin toss that will the wind affect it do you think you'll put your defense out first give your offense a little bit of chance to acclimatize to the wind or do you just pull him out and let jack do his business i mean it just depends on the mindset of you know steve hagan me if i'm in if i'm in that game then normally you know show them what show them what we can do from the start you know just get rolling so if i'm nfl academy here i'm going to just start trying to be on offense to really show them what we can do put the pressure on and then see how they react oh, so the NFL Academy are going to receive this football so they will take the ball first you're right to Shane they're going to come out and we get to see Jack Troney in charge once more he scored twice with his feet and scored five touchdowns overall against Dusseldorf and two touchdowns running so he's doing a bit of running back now in the backfield how do you feel about that to Shane I mean, it's great to see versatile quarterbacks, you know, doing both throwing, not just run, no, ju not just throwing, also doing some running as well. So, you know, he's very, very versatile. So, you know, let's see if he can put that same display on today. This is taking a leaf out of your book. So we're about to get underway here. So many uh, great things to talk about as we go through this game. Not least, of course, is the recent college commitments and the signings that the NFL Academy have had for their athletes going over to the states and other places and that's really what it's all about isn't it to shame this is the, again a showcase for these young men to really show what they can do on a football field 100 percent you know the academy is a great platform and a great opportunity great program for you know young athletes you know to get the opportunity to go to you know a prestigious college like Loughborough university and get the opportunity to progress and take it to the next level which everyone wants to play a collegiate sport play at division one division two and you know seeing the amount of alumni now that we have you know it's a great statement from 2019 to what it is now in 2024 and i know there's only going to continue to be more more athletes playing at that next level so the NFL Academy have got two burners back to return this one. Justice Selig, number 26, and kick returner Ben Lax is back for the NFL Academy. A dangerous duo for the Nuremberg Rams to kick to. Whistle blows and we are underway with a short kick that's going to go immediately out of bounds. So flag down immediately. And uh, do you think the wind caught that to Shane or was it just uh, trying to get that little bit of placement? I don't know. I think it was a little bit of the wind as well. You know, the, he looked like he was trying to kick it long and straight. But, you know, the wind it is quite windy from where we are. So, you know, maybe it just went out of bounds. It looks like there's a flag on the play also. The flag will be because the ball went out of bounds and it will now be up to the NFL Academy whether they want the Rams to re-kick or take the ball on their own 40-yard line. It looks like they're going to ask the Rams to re-kick this ball and uh, a smart decision given the, the blustery winds we've got going kind of left to right across the field. So potentially another tricky kick. Of course, one of the challenges is in the wind, just keeping the ball on the tee, right? The amount of times that the ball, when it's windy, ball just drops to the floor, time wasting, you have to go again. But it just looks like the NFL Academy really want to return this ball. So let's see what Ben Lax and Justice can do in the backfield. Here's the re-kick. Again, to a similar place that's picked up by NFL Academy, right hand side, nice move inside and they're trying to break away over the 50 yard line and that's Max Bartholomew, the German athlete, plays defensive back, doing a nice job on the return. Sometimes Kyle, you just have to be an athlete, that ball wasn't supposed to go to him but he saw it in his line of view and he said, you know what, I'm going to take this, I'm going to try to get as many yards as possible. So the NFL Academy with a fast start after a penalty kickoff they go immediately into the Rams half of the field and start this drive at the Rams 37 Troni coming out with Selig to his right hand side goes immediately to the air into the flat and that's caught and a good tackle made so a pick up for Matthew Akanadi to start the drive Academy like to move par fast 
That's a pickup of eight. This one, Troni tries to go over the top, but throws that one out of the reach. So close, he just tried to hit Jason. So second down and short, bit of a free down really, isn't it? Because you can come back to that third and short and still do what you need to do to get the first down. But just the tempo so far, you know, Selig's been in backfield doing some fake handoffs, but let's see what they do if they hit a run play now. Rams threatening blitz motion, Selig up the middle. Nice jump cut, ball comes loose, but Selig's immediately on it. So the Rams did jar that ball loose. Selig jumps on it, and that's going to be the first NFL Academy first down. No huddle for the NFL Academy offense. Selig to Choney's left. Some movement on the line, but the ball gets away and will go out into the flats. And that'll be picked up by Lax. Ben Lax with a quick reception into the flat. Second five. And already this high powered offense into the Rams red zone. And this is where the NFL Academy are really, really dangerous, Cal. When you get into that red zone, this is where anything can happen. Troni's going to keep this one himself to the right-hand side. Pick up some yards. We saw him running more and more with more confidence, didn't we, in the last game. And there is a flag down. Looks like that might be a hold, that one, in coming back. Referee seems to be talking about some sort of blow to the face. So it might be a personal foul. So it is a personal foul against the NFL Academy. Well, let's get this sorted out on the field. They are marching the ball back, so it's going to come back 15 yards for the NFL Academy, so it will mean it remains second down. But the challenge just got bigger. In fact, the box has changed its first down for the NFL Academy. All right. Troni then back to work. Was in the red zone, but had to be forced back with a penalty. Motion this time. Three targets for Troni to the bottom of your screen. That one's going to fall incomplete. Trying to get the ball to the flat and Justice Selig. So close. I think I was a little bit unlucky there, you know. Saw where Jack was trying to throw the ball to, but just unfortunate that one. Wind maybe caught that one. When you have wind like this, I suppose you want to keep it as close to the players as you can, but you've still got to get the ball into those athletes' hands. Definitely. Here you want to try to do your shorter routes, your slants, you know, just to try to get the ball open to someone. Lax motions into the backfield. Right, just a C-leg will run it left-hand side with some great moves and they can't get him down. Still fighting his C-leg. He's just got that great center of balance, hasn't he? Center of gravity. Great play there, you know. Especially as a runner back, you need to be able to center yourself to be nice and low, slip through tackles. When you see that gap, burst straight through. Just a C-leg. Just five foot six, but makes his mark felt in every game. Does the starting running back from Germany. This time he's joined by Isaac Fuller in the backfield. Be 
ceiling again. Nice tackle that time from the Rams defensive line. One to watch for the Rams is Lila Tiedemann, who plays offensive line and defensive line for these Rams. Tackle there made by Edip Bocek. Turning back to pass. And that's a good piece of defending that time by Timo Hanneveld, who bats the ball down. That will bring up third down. So the Rams stiffening in their own red zone. Great defense by the Rams, to be honest. You know, they're not making it easy. NFL Academy hasn't scored yet, you know, which normally they've scored quite quickly. So, you know, it's getting quite competitive. Rams sideline getting into the action now. That will be a handoff. Selig still fighting. So tough to get down. They finally do get him down. That was uh, Jacko Pega who made the tackle, number five for the Rams. It's going to bring up third and five. Can still get the first down without scoring, can the academy. I wonder what, gonna, what they're going to do here, Kyle. I wonder if they looks like there's no running back now in the backfield, so to see who they're going to throw the ball to. You're right to Shane, empty set. Trony back to pass, throws a slant. And that's a touchdown, NFL Academy. That's gone to Jason Sontgara. As soon as we said it, Carl, as soon as we said it, you know, NFL Academy first touchdown on the board. There was no running backs in the backfield, so easy throw. Well done, Jason. Sontgara with a great job running the slant and then shielding the defender away from the ball. Strong hands to pull it in. Seven yard grab. Andy Quinn. The Irishman coming on to make this extra point attempt. Not best weather for kickers. But the ball is up and it is good. So, 7 nothing to the NFL Academy here in Q1. What do you make of that first Take drive to Shane? I think it was a good drive, you know, they obviously got the penalty that took them back 15 yards, you know, but they kept, you know, pushing through using Selick to just keep, it's not all about scoring straight away, sometimes you just have to make, make your mark move, get min as many yards as possible, and as they did, and then as they got into the red zone, Troni managed to throw the ball in, one, nil, one, one touchdown in NFL Academy. So we're looking forward to see the Nuremberg Rams offense come out onto the field. They'll be led by their quarterback, Levin Romeshk. Lots of German players on this Nuremberg side, as you would imagine, but Americans as well and other European nations also represented. We'll have to see what Andy Quinn does with the kick. This wind, I don't know whether you can hear it on the mics back home, but it is blustery here in Loughborough. So he will keep it on the ground. He's going to take an NFL Academy bobble picked up. Nice move down the right-hand sideline that time for the Rams. So they'll get pretty decent field position to start. They're going to start on their own 28. Nice job by Andy Quinn just managing the, the environment, the weather here. Definitely smart decision by Andy. It's so windy. There's no point in you trying to kick it out of bounds, trying to get any flags, you know. But it's going to be interesting now to see the Rams take the field firstly for their offense. The first time that we're seeing their offense take the field. Got a big offensive line. We went down and uh, spoke to some of the coaches from the Nuremberg Rams and they're a really professional looking outfit. Number 77, Lilas Tiedemann, one to watch on that offensive line. There's Romic lines up in pistol formation four receivers available snaps gone over his head first snap and the running back just has to jump on it marvelous Amadi just jumps on it and of course the NFL Academy is swarming to try and rip that ball out it looks like that ball might be stripped potentially Ooh. 
just waiting for the signal and it's the NFL Academy that recover it well that's just made things really dangerous for these Rams hasn't it that was uh, Kevin Benton that comes up with the football just that snap and, and do you think that's just nerves to Shane definitely I think that's a bit of nerves you know it's windy it's their first game you know against an intimidating NFL Academy team first you know first snap gone a bit high and the defense is just so aggressive so disaster for the Rams as the NFL Academy will take the field at the six yard line going in with a score already on the board and as mentioned before, Cal, this is when they're the most dangerous in this red zone area right here. What a great start to defense, man. Hand off to Fuller that time. Good defense from the Rams. Is it Fuller? Can't really pick up anything on that one. Second and goal from the six. Fuller in motion. Training. Loads of time. Now he rolls his right. So back of the end zone. Caught. Touchdown NFL Academy. That's the second. That one's gone to Dominic. Tietz, the big tight end, gets into the game. Second touchdown for the NFL Academy. Great rollout by Choney. He looked like he was trying to throw the ball over to his left-hand side first. No one was open. He rolled out for it to Dominic for the second touchdown of the game. Over the times we've been watching Troney play, he gets so poised in the pocket, isn't he? He had loads of time there, but just took his time, picked his target, and hit Tietz in the back of the end zone. Accurate on the move, Troney. And, you know, just that ability to be so confident as a quarterback, you know, that's that's just what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be going through your different reads. If your first read isn't open, cool, look to the next person. If that person isn't open, cool, let me look to the last person. If that person's open, then give them the ball. Doesn't lose his head. Quinn will have this one blocked by the Rams. So the Rams showing some fight. Don't allow the extra point to be kicked. 13 nothing. Great special teams, you know. Sometimes they say special teams wins games. So, you know, that was a great block there by the Rams. And, you know, hopefully we can see a little bit more on their offense. Every point counts for this Rams team if they're going to have a chance to come back into this one. Still in Q1 if you've joined us. And the NFL Academy in command so far. Touchdown to Jason Stonkarath, and we just saw Dominic Tietz get on the board as well. And the Rams having trouble with their kicks and trouble with their snaps, and made some errors, which the NFL Academy, well, they punished them so far. Andy Quinn ready to kick. Drives it low, deep. Up, a nice hit goes in there that time from Joel Kisa. Yeah, we heard that one from up here, Carl. That one was powerful. Jacko Tega on the return. So the Rams on their 23-yard line now. We'll want to get something moving. We know what happens if you get behind against the academy, right? Definitely, you know. Academy is not a side that you want to be getting behind, you know, centre just needs to take his time, make sure that that ball gets to the quarterback and give, give their players some time. Romesh does get the snap this time and hands it. Nice little gain on first down, picks up a gain of three. Marvellous Ahmad is one to watch. That running back number two for the Nuremberg Rams. Must be intimidating going up against the NFL Academy. You've got to come all the way here and then you know you're going up against just some great athletes. So hopefully those nerves 
will settle down for these Rams. Picked up four on that one, so second and six now. Again, they hand off, same play, some decent blocking up front, but the rally, they rally really well to these linebackers for the NFL Academy. And that's Matty Kruger on the stop. Just a yard gain, third and four. It's interesting, Carl. It's been a lot of running game so far. I'm interested to see if the quarterbacks, the Rams are going to switch it up, do a little bit of passing in this, but... Yeah, the NFL Academy defense have been stopping that run. They've been able to see it and read it so quickly. Third and four for Romesh. <laughs> Snap is high but fielded well. Batted down. Good play by the defensive back there for the NFL Academy. So the Rams will bring their special team out to punt. Now we've seen the snap go awry. We've seen how this wind affects the ball in the air. So again, the NFL Academy going into this play will be trying to make something happen, right? Definitely, Kyle. They're looking to try to make a stop here, you know, try to get the ball in a decent zone. So when offense come on, they're looking to run that ball in a good position. But good to snap kick is up it's high lax will field it at the 30 makes one man miss and another then he will duck down to pick up about 17 on the return it was actually adrian maluka on the return for that one number 28 for the nfl Curry. he does a nice job decent field position they're going to start this one at the 33 See on the replay here, a couple of nice moves. Before that linebacker came across to make a play, back to the live action. First and ten. Trony hands this one off to Fuller. Pick up of about three. A long three that time. Looks like the academy are having two running backs in the backfield right now. Keeping it on the no play action. Nice hands from Trony will get it out. That's good defending on the edge. They get there quickly. Tackle made by Marcus Gonzalez. I think that was a great play design. But the defense they was able to see that one for a mile away. So I'm lucky to the NFL Academy there. Just a couple of yards picked up. Bring up third and six. Akinadi's the target to the bottom of your screen. Now Selig comes to join him. Pass. Tipped in the air. Great play from that linebacker who called his name again. Marcus Gonzalez. Back to back plays from him. He just got in that throwing lane and batted it away from the receiver. I think Jack, I think Troni was just trying to. Yeah, I think Tony was just there trying to throw the ball middle of the field, but that defender was there, Marcus was there, able to read that. Unlucky. Fourth down. So the Rams hold. Academy, fourth and five, will bring Andy Quinn on to punt this one away. Low snap, Quinn gets it up. Kick goes out of bounds, definitely impacted by that wind. A little bit of afters on the field and the flags go in. So there was a little bit of contact between Dominic Tietz and Kirill Holstein here on the field. So we'll see the referees to sort that out. You can see Tietz just getting a word from the referee. Already got a score on the board, Tietz. Think he's getting even more excited? Definitely, I can, you can already see the emotions getting in. He knows what this game means to him, you know, so 
it's going to be an exciting game and hopefully we can see more touchdowns by Dominic. So the punt went out of bounds. We're going to have to see who this penalty was against. Defense down here. Defense down here. Offense, go back that way. Offense, over here. Offense, over here. Down marker hasn't changed. So still fourth down is being shown on the field. So no change of possession as yet. All right, so after all that, the penalty's offset. There's a personal foul and an illegal block. One on each team, penalty's offset, so the ball will be placed at the 30-yard line, which is where the Rams will take over for their third possession. And uh, they're going to want to make something happen here. They did well to get the uh, NFL Academy offense off the field to change. They did. I, w I wasn't expecting that. You know, we just need to see a little bit more. I don't think they've really shown us enough at the moment, but yeah, let's see what they can do in this. First time back to pass, and he'll just throw that one out of bounds. Trying to get the ball to Sven Tiamel, but no joy for Ramesh. Just has to throw that one away. Second and ten. You can just see the difference, Kyle, in the tempo of the NFL Academy, you know. No huddles, they're just straight in, everyone knows what they're doing. Yeah, it's certainly the Rams taking their time to try and get the play right. This one will be a handoff. Nice moves. Makes the first man miss. Offensive line driving. Pick up of about three, and we saw there that that is... Kevin Faison, who's just 17 years old on the field. He's gone down there, and I think it was just at the end of the play when uh, trying to get those additional yardage. And as an offensive lineman, you know, you've got everyone behind you just piling into the back of your legs. So I hope he's okay. Yeah, I, I know about that, Cal. You know, especially as a running back, when you see a big old lineman in front of you, your main aim is to just push them in front, try to get as many yards as possible, and just use them as a shield to, you know, try to get as many yards as possible. There are three 17-year-olds on that uh, Rams offensive line. Lucas Vilmeyer, Kevin Faison, who's the player that we just saw go down, and, and Jakob Niederlich, if you are from Germany. Sorry about my pronunciation. But those are just 17 years old, those players, and uh, really trying to make a difference in this game against the NFL Academy. Just amazing, Kyle, to see you know how the game's really, really growing, and you know even seeing players so young, you know 17, even younger. From when we spoke to the head coach, he was saying that there's players even 15, 16 on this team. So you know really getting people into the game from younger and giving them an opportunity to play, especially against a great team like the NFL Academy. Yeah, this uh, Nuremberg Rams team, as uh, you were saying to Shane, made up of uh, 15 to 20 year olds from mostly from Germany and from Nuremberg itself, that beautiful city of Nuremberg. But also, there are some players from America and elsewhere. As Kevin Basin gets to his feet, and he's making his way back to the sideline with a little bit of assistance there. So hopefully, we will see him return very soon. The Rams with a third and six. Hopefully, them losing number 71 doesn't affect their playing style. You know, number 71 was a big player for them, so let's see if the running game is still going to be the same or if they're going to have to convert to passing. Pistol formation for the Rams. Ball is snapped. We shall roll out and drill it. Incomplete. Double coverage. 
from the NFL Academy, including Mishash Arthur there in coverage. So fast, these Academy boys, right? So fast, it's that S and C work that they've been doing, you know, all the track, getting themselves ready, that combine preparation, you know, it really, really benefits them. And, you know, being at such a great facility like Loughborough College, you know, it definitely has its impacts. Another poor snap on the punt. Punter has to roll to his right. Now he's really in trouble and he's going to be taken down by Matty Kruger. There is another flag on the play. But Sven Tiemel on that just hadn't got a chance. These snaps are really, really costing him, Carl. These snaps are really, really costing him right now, and the NFL Academy are being able to capitalise on these bad snaps. It's not so much the wind, is it? It's just the centre exchange, and we've seen a couple of high snaps, not just on the punts, but in regular play as well. Well, the penalty is going to go against the NFL Academy. Here's the muff snap again to Shane. Just uh, goes along the ground. Just goes along the ground, and then Matty Kruger says, I'll have that. He swallows up the punter. But it was offside against the NFL Academy, so it's actually going to give the Rams a first down. So a bit of a break for the Rams. Yeah, I think the NFL Academy are starting to realise that these snaps, you know, are, aren't, they're, they're pretty inconsistent, you know, so them being able to capitalise on that and bring that pressure a little bit more to Rams is what's going to help them, you know, being able to close down those yards and push them back even further in their own half. Motion from the Rams. Low snap, ball handed off again. Ball is out. NFL Academy are saying they've got it. But the referee says no. The ball will stay with the Rams. Here's the replay to Shane. We just spoke about this, cow. We just mentioned about the bad snap. Another low snap there. Running back comes through. Isn't high and tight, ball pops out, NFL Academy is able to jump on that ball. Well, it was the NFL Academy that recovered that one, apologies. So the NFL Academy did recover that snap and they will take over. Jack Troney takes the field at the Rams 33 yard line. Drops back to pass, no pressure now, a bit of pressure, lofts it up and knocked away by the Rams defender. Really nice play because that ball looked like it was going to be complete. Trying to get it to Matthew Akinardi, knocked away by Timo Hannevold. Called his name a couple of times already, standout linebacker. I don't know if you noticed there, Cal, but Troni had so much time in the backfield. He was just there waiting, waiting. Then he had the opportunity to throw. Unfortunate for Matthew, he didn't manage to hold that one in. But just the patience and the time, you know, that the NFL Academy have in the backfield is just amazing. Empty set, Troni goes with slant over the middle, tips and incomplete. Just like that, third and ten. Can the Rams hold again? I think the Rams need to be a little bit more aggressive on defence. I don't really see anyone giving Troni that pressure at the moment. He's having just time in the pocket to be able to throw that ball. Troni, loads of time, goes deep, end zone, open man, Akanadi in the end zone for six, touchdown, Academy. Matthew, he was angry about that last play, he said no, I need, I need that again, and look at him, he's gone in, scored six. NFL Academy with the third score on the board, and this time it's Matthew Akanadi, here's the replay. Look at Troni, just so much time. Matthew makes his way out. Great ball by Troni. No one's on him. Touchdown. 
how can you lose Matthew Akinardi? Scored that first touchdown back in the Spurs Stadium in October last year. Gets another one on the board tonight under the lights of Loughborough. Quinn with the kick. Uh, they come fast off the edge to the Rams on no special teams play, but they don't get to block that one. So the score... NFL Academy 20 and the Rams yet to score. Twenty nil. Did you expect this, Carl? You know, going from the other games, what did you what did you think this game was gonna be? And you know, great performance so far by the NFL Academy, you know, Rams just need to apply just a little bit more pressure, but you know, it's been it's been great so far by the NFL Academy. Not much to really fault them about haven't seen the Rams get moving yet. Come all this way from Nuremberg of these Rams arrived here on the Thursday night and they've been staying at the Loughborough Elite Sports Centre up the road. It's been their home for the last day or so. Quinn will kick it into the end zone this time. Oh, some big hits again going in there from the academy lads. The aggression by the NFL academy, the aggression is just, you know, it's contagious, it's contagious. Joel Quissar with the hit. So the Rams backed up in their own 20. It was a good kick that time from Quinn. The wind has died down a little bit here at the University of Loughborough. So Quinn thought he'd hit it deep into the end zone. Just an 18-yard return. So first and 10 for these Rams at their 18-yard line. Not really seen them get any momentum going as yet. Hopefully we can see a little bit more, you know, Running back in the backfield in pistol formation. Let's see what the offense can do. Handed off good edge play from the NFL Academy defense. Wouldn't let that running back turn the edge. No gain. Second and ten. quarterback will keep and look to pitch but down he goes pick up of a couple that time the play was made by the defensive lineman Bo Bigo on the tackle first time we've seen the quarterback take the ball and run so far but Yet again, NFL Academy defense are just there, ready for any movement or any play that the, the Rams are going to take. Sasha Arthur does a great job on the edge, just freezing the quarterback, not allowing him to have that option to pitch. Third and 11, and the flags go in. And that's that pressure that we're talking about again, Kyle, you know. NFL Academy player runs in and one of the Rams players just jumps, you know. That pressure really, really can change games. Lots of people come out to watch this game. Lots of people on the bank. That one's going to be an offside against the Rams. Going to push them back further five yards. It's going to be third and 16 now from their own 10-yard line. So they've got to be a bit careful here to shame. They have to be. If I was the Rams in this situation, you know, we're, we're pushed up back towards our end zone. You know, your best option here is to try to start to throw the ball a little bit. You know, they haven't really been throwing the ball so far. So, you know, try to get the ball to your receivers and, you know, just trust them to get a few yards. Academy threatening blitz. Bring another man into the box. Quarterback takes his time. 
snap is back going deep downfield but well underthrown and the coverage was very good from Teddy Ranji on that one so the Rams will have to punt on fourth down they did throw the ball did throw the ball so you know we'll give them that they did um, you know try to throw the ball and get to one of their receivers but just a little bit short and you know just that defense and the speed of the DBs from the NFL Academy you know they had all the receivers locked up so not much you can really do in that situation fourth and 16 punting from his own end zone is Sven Tiamel and he's already had trouble with his snaps does get the snap to him and he'll just spoof it out of bounds trying to get as many yards as he can lots of things to contend with on that one the wind the NFL Academy defense bearing down on you and you're kicking from your own end zone you'll only get it out to the 28 which is where the NFL Academy will take over again just amazingly good field position it just sometimes it's you know sometimes the weather can benefit or you know help you in the game and currently right now it looks like the Rams are struggling with the weather so it just keeps giving the NFL Academy great field positioning clouds in the sky here to shame hoping it won't rain tonight Troni back to work at the 28 hand off to the edge defended brilliantly that time really nice play that linebacker Timo Hannewald has been a really outstanding for me so far in this one and makes a really nice play to blow that one up Great defense by the Rams. That's one thing I have to say. Their defense is amazing. Here we, here we have the motion over, number 28 running through, and as you said, Timo just got there quite quickly and was able to just break that play up. Beautiful linebacker play. Marcus Gonzalez was the other linebacker. The two of them together are a fearsome duo for this Rams defense. What I loved about the play from, um, from Timo Hanewald was just the way he saw the gap opening and he just knife right through right exactly how you're supposed to play as a linebacker and as a linebacker you know as soon as you realize that the ball isn't going in the air your job is you know what the ball carry out that's what we're going after so as soon as he realized that that jet sweep coming across and he wasn't throwing that ball he made his way straight to the running back and was able to stop that play up immediately so a highlight from the rams defense at the end of this first quarter and the nfl academy are up three scores already your reflections on the first quarter to shame i think it was you know discipline good play by the nfl academy so far you know we know that there's much more you know in store for them you know in this second quarter haven't really seen too much from the rams at the moment i think centers you know having a little bit of issues with the wind at the moment you know so we haven't really been able to see much of the passing game but you know yeah great great display right now by the nfl academy and you know sure that there's going to be some more scores on on the board if you're a young athlete watching this and you want to try out whether you're in Germany or you're in the UK or Europe or indeed the rest of the world outside of North America you can get in touch with the NFL Academy on their website they have tryouts all over the world bringing the best talent here to the University of Loughborough to compete for those big scholarship places in the United States as Troni will get back to work at the beginning of Q2 trips to the top of the screen man in motion handed off inside just a Selig opens the running for the NFL Academy at the beginning of the second period and that will bring up third and five. Selig is such a powerful runner you know the way he sees those gaps and he's just able to just burst through with the help of the O-line making easy holes and gaps for him to just be able to run through. Motion they get the Rams offside it's a free play for Troni will go to the end zone incomplete trying to get the ball to Akinadi had a free play so took a shot why not you got free play you made a defense jump take a shot in the end zone I'll do the same thing if I was QB in this situation hey, 
offside defense will bring up third and inches now for the NFL Academy very close to the first down but not quite past the yard to gain Tietz, number eight big number eight you can see there just a Selig in the backfield looks like just see it's in pistol formation here so knowing the NFL Academy he's probably gonna power that straight through the air gap to try to get that first down Fuller comes as the lead blocker Selig will take it jump cut one jump cut two end zone just as Selig touchdown on third and one takes it 15 yards for the score amazing 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 stuff you know I, I called it that he was it was gonna be a running play didn't know that he was gonna take it straight to the house but great play and you know just the movement of you know Selick is just amazing exactly the attributes that you know you need as a running back so great display of football right here Justice Selig at the beginning of Q2 gets the NFL Academy's fourth score on the board Quinn had one of these blocked earlier by the Rams they do they do come tough off that defensive line to try and block these kicks they're overloading that right hand side Quinn hoofs it and it's good 27 NFL Academy 0 to the Rams and um, we've seen some good play from their defense but not much from their offense yet not at all you know that's that's what we're waiting to see Kyle you know we know that they have some great athletes on both sides of the balls and here's just a replay here of just see it you know look at open space one move one person to beat easy touchdown there in the end zone he's so elusive but you have to say big hole on that third and one I mean that was uh, even I could have maybe got a yard or so through that hole. don't laugh to shame <laughs> Of course, but you know when you have such an aggressive O line, you know that do their job and they're able to block their, you know their players. It just makes it easy, and you know when you have space like that as a running back, green grass is always what you want to see. Great blocking, great running, great attack from this NFL Academy team. Quinn will send it up into the sky again. Another huge kick out of the back of the end zone no chance for return first down Rams from their own 20 what can they do what do they need to get going they tried to get that running attack going early nothing really happening in the passing game what can they do against this NFL Academy defense I mean, their best option right now, Kyle, is just to start throwing some short routes. You know, we haven't really seen them go for any short routes. It's more so been, you know, long balls, trying to hit the receivers long in their phase. They need to, you know, start going for your shorter routes, hitting them with, you know, the slants, the hooks, and, you know, just try to move the ball slowly. It's not always about trying to go for the deep balls. Try to move the chain slowly, and as you get closer and closer, then you can start going for those deep balls. Well, it was a penalty down there to Shane that I missed, and the NFL Academy are going to have to re-kick this one. So the touchback won't count. I think it was a penalty against the NFL Academy because Quinn's going to be kicking from his 30 rather than the 35. So a five-yard penalty. Gives a chance for these two returners maybe to get something going for the Rams. Marvellous Imadi is back there to return. Well, now now they uh, are going to decline a penalty. Well, to and fro in there to Shane, but they're going to decline the penalty and they will get the ball on the 25-yard line. So instead of instead of imposing the penalties on the kick, they actually took the ball at the 25-yard line rather than get Andy Quinn to re-kick it interesting i mean they saw what andy can do you know when he kicks the ball even in the wind so you know taking it from there is you know one of the best decisions that they, that they could possibly make in this situation so the rams from their 25 with kafuta in motion 
snap will be play action and just thrown way over the head of the intended receiver. They were trying to get the ball to Florian Kafuta, but no joy. Did see what they were trying to do there, you know. They're trying to switch up some of the plays, but as I, as I mentioned before, Kyle, the pressure is what, you know, throws off the quarterback. The quarterback, you know, had pressure in his face and just tried to throw that ball over and, you know, he was too high for the wide receiver. But that's what really is taking this game over is just the pressure by the NFL Academy. They're just so fast and just so quick. Second and ten for the Rams. Academy shows blitz. They'll send one, drop one. Running back gets slammed at the line of scrimmage. Beautiful tackle going in there from Jaden Smith, I believe. Hang on, not Jaden Smith. Who you got to shame? I think it was 11. Let's have a look on the replay so we can catch the number. 41. Great tackle from that play. He's made a couple of plays. That's 41. Playing that, you can see him there. That nose tackle position. Great tackle. Loss of half a yard. So third and 11 for the Rams. Low snap. Fielded well. Immediate pressure. Tries to get the screen off. They had the right play called. And it will pick up. A gain of six yards, it was Florian Kafuta who was on the play and Max Bartholomew who got the hit. They're just going to be short of a couple of yards there to shame. I mean, Kyle, that was a great catch right there, you know. We, we said that they needed something in the game and, you know, that here's a replay, you know. The pressure by the NFL Academy again is just amazing. You can see how all the defensive players, the ends especially, are just flying out there, giving the QB some pressure. QB sees the receiver open, has to throw that ball, and what a phenomenal catch over there. And, you know, defense are over there trying to chase him down, but great catch there by the, by the offensive player. One-handed catch from Florian Kafuta Gives the Rams a chance to try and convert on this fourth down. They'll hand it off, big hole, converts and gets more. Nice play by the Rams to keep the drive alive. Took them four downs, but they do convert. Now close to NFL territory, all the way up to the 41. It looks like that, that catch woke them up, Cal. It looks like that catch, you know, is giving them a little bit of momentum to, you know, try to take things a little bit closer to the NFL Academy's end zone. But let's see if they can do it or not. So marvellous Amadi, number two for the Rams. Converts on fourth down to keep the drive alive, first and ten. Capote with orbit motion, they pitch to him this time, trying to find some space to the speed of the academy defence was just phenomenal on that. It was Joel Quisser who made the tackle and Max Bartholomew who forced the runner back. No gain for the Rams. It definitely looks Kyle like they're trying to get a little bit more creative, you know, but we know when it comes to the NFL Academy defense, they, they're really, they're very, very sound tuned and they know how to see things and they know how to dis see disguised plays that, you know, other teams are trying to hide. So, you know, it's pretty easy for them to be able to, you know, suss out certain plays. Rams lost a little bit of yardage on that second and a short 11. Ramesh play action rolling to his right just throws it out of bounds now I didn't see that he had any targets on that all of the receivers were blocking so nowhere to go with the ball for Ramesh on second down smart decision on the QB just to throw it out of bounds you know and if you saw from the replay you know you can see all the defensive players just chasing after the QB best option is just to try to throw that ball out of bounds So head coach Josh Alazy, the Nuremberg Rams, will want to keep this drive alive. Spoke to him before the game and he was saying, yeah, we know NFL Academy's got talent. We've got talent too. And they know it's going to be a challenge. 
Burden 11 for these Rams. Four targets for Ramesh. Immediate pressure looks for the screen again and gets it. The defender makes the tackle. Bartholomew right there to take down Fl Florian Kafuta immediately. Picks up a couple. Great play both ends and a really nice tackle from Bartholomew. Great play. Here's a replay, you know. Again, the pressure. QB just manages to get that ball out and number 12 you know he's seeming like he's he's a main target now you know he always seems to try to get himself open and he, when he gets himself open you know he's quite a dangerous player fourth down now they converted on fourth and two last time did the Rams this one is fourth and eight but they are close to that midfield Snap is good, kick is up. Lax is back to field it and will field it and keep in bounds. Turns back inside and tackle is made. So decent special teams play that time by Gregor Brague who brings Lax down. Sorry, not Lax, that one's Adrian Maluka on the return. Flag down again. Interesting decision of Maluka to field that and not just let it roll out of bounds. I was thinking the same thing, Carl. It was already quite a difficult ball to catch in the beginning, but, you know, great effort by him for, you know, catching that over the shoulder and trying to get as many yards as possible. But in that situation, I probably would have just let that ball go out of bounds. I think this might be a block in the back. Waiting to hear from our referee. Let's have a look at a replay of that, if, unless we get a, a quick signal from the referee. Looks like the Rams are marching back. Here's a replay. You can see the kick go in. So there's a couple of different penalties on that one. There was a blindside block and an illegal formation. Those penalties will offset and the Rams will have to kick again. So the Rams getting set to kick again. It was a good kick this time, but the, the snap was a lot better. It was a lot better, you know. When when they start to, you know, get the ball rolling a little bit, snaps good, kicks good, then, you know, you can see them giving a little bit of a challenge, you know, but it's just putting those little pieces together, you know, actually giving themselves an opportunity to, you know, show what they've got. Simon Schinella, punter, back for the Rams. Now we know that Maluka is back to return for the academy. Kick is up. And it's not so good this time. It's going to take a, a roll out of bounds. And there's another flag down on the field. It seems kind of like the wind is really, really taking a toll down there on the field. Looks like this is going to be another illegal block against the Rams. So the woes continuing for the Rams on these special teams plays. Personal foul, illegal chop block. Block below the waist at the line of scrimmage. But the NFL Academy are going to decline it. Well, no, they're going to have it forced on the return. So the NFL Academy offense. Guess what, Shane? They're into the Rams territory before they even start. And as we know, Kyle, this is a very, very di um, dangerous situation for the Rams to be in. You know, you never want Troni in the backfield, you know, Seeley in the backfield, you know, so close, giving them more opportunity for them to be able to score so quickly. Hard enough to play the NFL Academy without the flags. Lacks 
lines up as a lead blocker for Seelig who will take it and bounce to his right hand side looking for the edge and he'll pick up three. Decent pursuit by the Rams offense, uh, defense rather. But Seelig will still manage to pick up a long three, second and seven. Really impressed by the pursuit of this Rams defense. They just they haven't had a lot of field to defend. They just keep getting put in a hole. I would definitely say that the Rams defense you know, really, really good, solid. Tronies there with the ball, throws it. Caught by Lax, and that will be caught at the three-yard line. So Troni with a dime to Lax, and they're going to go quick. Uh, the NFL Academy first and goal. What a sliding catch by Ben Lax. Just caught that so comfortably. Whistle blows. Academy want to take a timeout. Uh, there's also, actually, there's an injured player on the field just off camera who went down. It's just amazing how, how quickly the NFL Academy are able to convert. You know, they were just there lining up. They ran the ball with Seelick quickly, took it over, got three yards, and then Troni had plenty of time in the backfield. And, you know, they're in the red zone already. You know, it just goes to show their ability in this team. That was a 30-yard reception from Troni to Lax to set up first and goal. And these defenders having trouble with covering of those receivers aren't they the linebacking play i've been really impressed with with the rams defensive line as you say not not getting pressure on troni and it's making it difficult for those dbs yeah and i think you know the coaches have recognized that you know so they're just throwing the ball because they know that there's no pressure coming on any sides like look troni's just there he's open he has plenty of time Seeley gets hit at the line of scrimmage and he will still squirt forward for a couple but nice play that time by mark antonio tossed in the middle of that defensive line again they give it to Seeley, and again a nice hit by the defensive line some good run defending as the Rams try and keep this high-powered offense out of the end zone. The academy just relentless line up immediately. Play comes in, Selig still in. Fuller comes in, two backs in the backfield for Troni. We'll take it from shotgun. Motion for Macanardi. Troni under pressure. Tries to get away and does get away. The athletic ability of Giacomo Troni. Touchdown Academy. That was amazing, Carl. That was amazing. As soon as I mentioned about the pressure, they brought the pressure. But just Troni, just the athletic ability for him to be able to weave his way in and out and, you know, just to put that ball in the end zone. What a great play. He can do it all. Thrown for one already, now runs for one. And he'll hold for the kick. How about that? What can't he do, Carl? Troni with the fifth score. Quinn comes on to convert. And he does. 34 NFL Academy Rams yet to score so they played really well the Rams on that series didn't they? and the goal line line up at their three yard line they had three downs it's just on that third down it's just the brilliance from Trony but there was some good defensive line play there from the Rams as well definitely that was the first time that we've actually seen the defense you know apply some pressure and you know they actually started to come a little bit closer here's the replay let's look at the sliding catch of Lax just just set up that uh that touchdown for Troni, and then uh, here's the touchdown to show. You know, we actually had a little bit of pressure, but you know, just just the athletic ability by Troni, just to be able to loose, you know, get his way in and out of the hole, and just be able to just present that ball. It's just, just great football. Pressure came from Kirill Holstein, number 52, and uh, the Rams were showing a lot of pressure on that defensive line for that series. But Troni gets it in. Quinn 
will drive this one low, but it's returnable. Picked up left-hand side and bundled out of bounds. Orgill, Kimaril Orgill with the big hit to get Marvel Samadi out of bounds. So the Rams will take over again this time at their own 24. NFL Academy team so far this season this is their third game their second home game big win against Schwabish Hall 74-21 here beat Düsseldorf 51-19 and now got 34 points up against the Nuremberg Rams who are trying to come back into it trips to the bottom of the screen for Roche gives it hand off there's a nice hole good blocking and Marty with some good tough running and I'll move the sticks 15 yards for Marvellous and Marty. That's brought the offence to life. You know, I can, you know, they're getting frustrated. They're getting frustrated. Oh, looks like he's down. Looks like he's down now, Carl. Oh, that's not good. Oh, well, just as they get a bit of luck going their way, and Marty goes down. It was, it was a blistering run. Showed some great pace. What a shame to see him go down. Yeah, looked like one of your runs from back in the day there. Stop it, Cal. Stop it. You know, great run by him. Great run. You know, I, I don't know if you noticed there, Cal, but if you saw the way, you know, he pushed that old lineman, you know, just telling him to go, go, go. You know, that's what you need to do to be able, you know, sometimes the old lineman, you know, they're blocking, but they don't realize that you're behind. So you just have to direct them and put them where you want them to be. You know, but that was a great run by him. I hope he's, you know, hope he's okay and, you know, he can get back into this game. He's definitely one of those players that they need in the run game. It's been a star for them so far as marvelous Ahmad. And uh, we hope he's okay. We do kick return duties and running duties. So many uh, great athletes now in the United States of America as a result of the NFL Academy. You've got the likes of uh, Clinton Azubuki, who went to Northern Arizona University, Timmy Oki, DB, got that Northwestern University scholarship, Henry Lies, Glenville State University. Lopez Sanazu. Do you stay in touch as part of the alumni, you know, the alumni league? Do you hear back from those athletes, Tishane? Definitely, you know, like one of one of my main roles is, you know, just making sure that those athletes are okay, you know, they're all their well being's good and you know, being in America is, is a big transition, you know, from being in the UK, you know. But what you know, love for university, love for college do, you know, just having that model of being away from home and it kind of prepares them and everything that they do here at the college just prepares them so when they do make that transition over to the States that they're ready and, you know, they've kind of been exposed to that lifestyle before they go over there so they're not just, you know, exposed to this lifestyle without getting a head start. It's like a mod might have... Uh, a left leg injury certainly those uh, NFL players colliding uh, to bring Marvellous Ahmad down it was a fantastic run and it will give the Rams a first down but at some cost to themselves because they've lost the running from Ahmad at least for the time being so they're going to have to replace with a new running back in the backfield Looks like Marcus Gonzalez will come in as a back. In fact, they put Florian in there as well. Two backs in. They'll give it to Leon Hackel, who's the runner. And he'll pick up maybe four yards. So a decent run on first down for the Rams. I guess when you have a player like Imad goes off, you put two running backs into replace him because he's such a great player, right? He really, really is. You know, you can just see the speed and, you know, the energy that he puts into his runs, you know. So definitely a big blow for the Rams to, you know, lose him. Hopefully he can get back in the game. We've got Emir Salahoglu in the backfield and Leon Hackel now in the backfield with their quarterback Levin Ramesh. It's the first time, Carl, that we're actually seeing two running backs in the backfield, you know, so let's see if they have some different plays with, you know, two backs in the backfield. High snap again. Ramesh just has to jump on it and secure the football. He will. Matty Kruger ominously 
loitering with intent. Another Rams player has gone down on the field as well. Looks like another one of the offensive linemen. And he's getting frustrated. NFL Academy staff go out. It's actually the same, same lad that went down before. It's Kevin Basin who's gone down again. Did come back, you remember, got injured in Q1, came back on the field, gone down again. Maybe it's a recurring injury for him. It might be, you know, but, you know, respect, you know, the hustle and, you know, the grind to still want to come out into this game. You know, he knows that his teammates need him, you know, they're losing at the moment, but, you know, he's not giving up. So, you know, great, great mindset to be able to still come out and, you know, try to be there for your team, even regardless of the score. So, you know, great teamwork by him. Daniel Akin Kunmi, of course, the offensive line, Oklahoma University, out there playing. Love following his socials as I love following yours, but his experience as well seems like a great one out there in Oklahoma. Really enjoying being out there. Yeah, you know, big shout out to Daniel. Daniel's a great, 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 great guy, great person, great football player. You know, I don't, I don't know if you know his story, Kai, you know, but he, you know, used to, you know, travel from Doncaster all the way, you know, to North London, where the academy used to be at Barnett Southgate College, you know, just to play football you know so great great story from him and you know so many other great athletes from the NFL Academy you know alumni program that you know need to be shared and you know great stories man so big shout out to Daniel and, you know wishing the best of luck in the season really inspiring whenever I spoke to him when he was back here in the UK third and 20 23 24 now for the Nuremberg Rams in trouble after that series of downs and of course lost a couple of their key players offensive linemen and their running back so big challenge for Ramesh post his left hand side tries to go over the top and incomplete again excellent coverage that time from Teddy Ranji they tried to test him a couple of times and they've given them nothing and he's trying to tell them don't throw my side because if you do he's looking to try to get that pick six so you know close he was able to undercut the receiver and you know so close but the ball was a little bit low here's the replay right here QB throws it out long Teddy's there waiting for the ball two receivers came in as well so you know no opportunity for the right receiver to be able to catch that ball there Javel Laidley coming over from his safety spot to help out fourth and 25 now for the Rams Hunters out, who get it away. Takes a bounce in NFL Academy territory. And then they'll down it there. So the Academy will come out on their own 30-yard line now. And that gives something for the round sideline to cheer about. They haven't had a lot, let's face it, but they are getting excited about that one. They are, they are, you know, you've got to celebrate the wins, you've got to celebrate, you know, some things, you know, that are going well and, you know, mostly they've been given Tony the opportunity to field in, you know, good parts of the field. So, you know, this is a win to, you know, that Tony's going to be a little bit further back in, you know, their half. Seen some good play from this Rams defence in spells. Some good play from their outstanding linebackers that they've got. Gonzalez, one that's really impressed me. Timo Hanewal, number 45. So they've got some good athletes themselves. But Troni's back in charge. Play action into the flat. Beautifully taken on the run and up the sideline. Will they have the angle to get him out of bounds? They do. So defensive lineman has to track back to get Malaka, Adrian Maluka out of bounds. Nice play, perfectly timed from Troni, just able to run onto that ball. Just just a great play, you know, even getting, you know, running backs wide as well, running, you know, wheel routes, it's just amazing to see. And Troni's already deeper in their half now, so, you know, let's see what he can do here. Flanked by two running backs, Troni, first and ten. Loads of time again. Gets the completion, spin move, still going. And he will take it in. It's the sixth touchdown. And that one's going to go to Jason Stonkerath for his second of the day. Stonkerath. 
from 30 yards out. Kyle, I don't even know what to say about that one. I'm a just, <laughs> just great football. So creative, you know, spins. Just, just amazing, you know. Now you can really see that they're starting to have fun out here, you know, just playing football, enjoying, getting creative, and just, just getting some highlights right now. Stongarath with the spin move and in showed tremendous speed to outrun the entire Rams defense. And Quinn will come on to convert again. Up and good. So Quinn puts another point on the board. And the academy now take it to 41 nothing, and we are not even at the half. I think it's just been pretty comfortable, Carl. I don't know if you, you know, you agree. It's just been pretty comfortable by the academy. Now you can see that they're just having fun. You know, they haven't taken their foot off the gas, which is, you know, what you don't want to do. It doesn't matter what team you're playing or the score. You always want to keep pounding and keep pounding. But you know, it just looks pretty comfortable. There hasn't been that many mistakes. And you know, here's a replay of how the play started. We're going to show you that big catch at the sideline. This is Maluka setting up that touchdown for Stonkrath, using his speed and power to uh, bust through a couple of tackles before he was taken out of bounds and here's the touchdown Troni had so much time you know looking telling the receivers to get into position and this is when Jason just started to get creative here spin move all the defensive players just chasing after him and you know he just used his speed easily gets into the end zone and you know just so creative by him kick is being returned by the Rams goes nowhere met and dropped is Jaco Pega 15, which is where the Rams will take over again. About three scores in the first quarter, three scores in the second quarter. One minute 57 left in this quarter before half time, so we've hit the two minute warning. If you're the Rams, you want to try and make something happen before half time. Definitely, you know, you need something to happen, you know, so you can feel confident, know that, you know, you have something going into this, you know, second half, you know, so let's see what the Rams can do. Hand off up the middle, met at the line of scrimmage. Barrels forward for a gain of one. Runner is Leon Hackle. So just a pickup of a yard. The Rams trying to see what they can get in that first down, whether they want to turn this in, turn this drive into something or just go in at the half time. Orbit motion again. Uh, this time the QB will keep it left hand side and it's just with some good wheels to the sideline. Manages to pick up about eight yards does Romesh. Nice little bit of trickery. Third and three. It's good to see, you know, that they're throwing a couple of different plays and, you know, trying to catch the NFL Academy off guard, you know, but just doesn't really seem to shake the NFL Academy. You know, they're very, very disciplined and, you know, they they can easily see, you know, what they're doing before they even do it. Third and three for the Rams to try and keep this drive at the end of this first quarter, sorry, the end of this first half to get together. Hands off, run up the middle, hits the gap at speed, and he will go through a big hole. Pick up of nine yards in the first down. That's a nice play they have because it allows the running back to hit the line of scrimmage at full speed, doesn't it, to Shane? Yeah, you can see the running backs are running now with a little bit more aggression, you know. Number two being down, and you can just see the replay. He just bursts straight through that hole, and, you know, just that, that's, that's the energy that, you know, we're talking about going into the second half, which they need. Fletcher Cornwell on the tackle for the academy. First and ten at the Rams 31. Ruff Mesh under pressure. They'll get him down. It's Jerry Benson. Sorry, Benson Jerry will take Ruff down for the sack. 
the speed by Mesh there. You know, the quarterback tried to cut inside. You know, he tried to go outside, and then as soon as he saw Mesh coming, creeping through, he then tried to cut inside. But, you know, Mesh forced him to come outside. Here's the replay here. QB takes it, starts to make his way on his pursuit. Mesh is coming through. Then QB has to cut inside. But by then, Mesh was already there, and he had another teammate there to help him. Benson Jerry on the sack. Um, that will be the end of the half. So your halftime score here from the University of Loughborough as the NFL Academy trot off the field is NFL Academy 41 and the Nuremberg Rams nothing. Let's have a look at a few of those touchdowns that we've enjoyed this evening so far in this one from the NFL Academy. This was the opening touchdown to Jason. To This is the one to Matthew Akinardi, actually, the third touchdown that the NFL Academy scored. Wide open, Matthew Akinardi, on that one. He really was. So much time from Troni, and, you know, Matthew was just, he was just a walk-in. Then, as we got into Q2 after Quinn got the conversion... This was Justice Seelig with some great running. A couple of quick jump cuts, 15 yards and in. Justice Seelig showing what he can do again. Really, really dominant running back. And, you know, as I said before, when you see that green, it's just easy for you to just run through, do a couple jump cuts and just get straight into the end zone. That took the score to 27-0. Then there was this beautiful one-handed catch. This was a highlight, really, for the Rams in the offense. That was Florian Kafuta who made that catch. And then we had this catch from Ben Lax sliding down to the three-yard line. And then this, of course, to Shane, set up the touchdown of Troni. And this by Troni was just amazing. You know, we saw the pressure by, you know, 52, and Troni just a magician in this play here, you know, still managed his way, managed to find, his, you know, find a way to slip through and, you know, scored the touchdown. The academy weren't done. Jason Stontgarath it was set up by a great play from Adrian Maluka up the sideline. This was two plays and into the end zone for the NFL Academy on this drive. They started the drive at their own 30-yard line. And then what about this from Jason Stontgarath to Shane? Yeah, again, Troni had so much time and, you know, Jason got the ball. He had three guys coming in, span... You know, made a couple guys miss and, you know, just great speed of him being able to just get into the end zone, you know. Just great football there. Great play. So it's been a great half of football for the academy and the Rams have also uh, shown us what they can do a little bit. We're hoping for a bit more from them in the second half. We're going to show you a, a documentary about the pathways uh, into the NFL. And then we will be back uh, to start the second half. We'll see you then. Don't go away. Try and put up a great bench. Pat put up 225 pounds or just over 100 kilos um, for as many reps as you possibly can. Bench press is always one of the best bits of pro day. Energy really high, guys really get behind each other. And I actually did 13 reps at um, the first time I tried out the bench press. And on pro day, I managed to do 19. Try and put up a great bench. Pat put up a great bench. posted 23 reps, which as a punter is insane. It was two away from the NFL record. And I think it showed to everyone that was in that building that he's way more than someone that they could just kick a ball. One or two more. I'll take 23.
Welcome back to University of Loughborough. Kick is up for the beginning of the second half. Rams pick the ball up and it jumps again at the 10-yard line. No joy on the opening kickoff. Welcome back. That was Gregor Braid on the return and the NFL Academy start the second half the way they ended the first half. I'm still here with the mighty Shane Boyce. Welcome back, welcome back. I hope everyone's still at home enjoying this wonderful game that we have on so far. And yeah, as Carl said, the NFL Academy definitely haven't taken their foot off the gas, you know, coming in with a great hit from, from this kickoff return. And now we truly have Friday night lights as the lights come on. So thanks ever so much for joining us, whether you're joining us from Nuremberg, from Germany, from the USA watching these talented athletes or right here in the United Kingdom here at Loughborough. Great to have you with us on a Friday night. We're looking for a bit more action from these rounds in this second half. 41 nothing to the academy right now. That run is going to barrel forward for a gain of two. Lost that star running back in the, uh, in the uh, second quarter. Marvellous Ahmad's not made a return. But Leon Hackett has come in and is uh, carving up the yards in the inside just to pick up a one on that you know big blow from the rams you know losing you know their star number two marvelous you know but leon you know he's coming in he's running pretty hard running pretty aggressive you know so hopefully you know with his old line you know giving him a little bit of support he can you know try and get a few yards quarterback levin romech still in for the rams as they send florian kafuta in motion to the top of your screen Hand off again, Hackle, thrashing run through the middle. That's not Hackle, actually. That's the one-two punch I've got going. That was Simon Schnilla, the German running back that picks up eight, third and two. So the Rams make it manageable on third down. They're coming a little bit harder, Cal. You know, they're, they're trying to run the ball. You know, they're running. Here's the, here's the replay here. You know, the running back's getting that little bit of a run up before and just barrels himself into the, um, the academy defense just there offensive line doing a better job on this opening series for the rams this young offensive line they're young but they're big and strong and uh, they had their way on that run third and two for romach motion from florian again he goes back to his original position Silas Sibanda goes with him. Handoff. Thrashes up the middle again. Going to bulldoze his way for the first down. Leon Hackle with the first down. Moves the sticks. Opening drive of Q3. If you've just joined us back from the break, welcome back. The Rams get a first down on this run from Hackle. That was positive by Hackle there, you know, just really. And that's that's the thing about running backs, you know. It's not about how you start, it's about how you finish, you know. Really using those legs to get that extra set of yards. And, you know, that was great there by Leon. Max Bartholomew, defensive back for the academy, has to drag Hackle down. Pistol formation for a match. Kuzman settles at the line of scrimmage. Florian in motion, low snap. Rolling now to his right hand side. Just has to throw it out of bounds. The pressure from Arthur and from Matty Kruger. Just relentless defenders, those two. You don't want to come meet them on a dark night in Loughborough. Definitely not. And as I said, Kyle, the pressure is what, you know, intimidates offense, you know, by the defense just being so far, so aggressive. And, you know, when they apply that pressure, it's hard for QBs to get an opportunity. And, you know, you can just see the pressure off the edge, you know, the QBs having to try to spread it out. And, you know, as soon as they get pretty close, he has to just throw that ball. Arthur just running through the block of the Rams running back. Great pursuit from those two quality defenders on this academy defense so many great athletes second and ten no gain after the qb throws it out of bounds romesh with 10 yards to go qb keeps and is met and dropped behind the line of scrimmage 
fantastic play number 21 on the NFL Academy we don't have a, num a name for 21 but it was really great play by him got an assist from Kingsley Iki you'll see here 15 is the first man to pursue there but there's the cornerback coming out with just a fantastic hit that's how to play the edge if you're a cornerback in run support. As a defensive player, you can't be shy of contact. You know, he just dropped his shoulder, ready to take the impact, and, you know, he dealt some damage, you know, the player dropped. Third and 11. Romesh going to need to make something happen with his arm. Dropping back to pass. Here comes the pressure. Gets the ball away. No, oh, stolen away. Is that player again? He's had a hell of a series. 21 for the academy. We don't have a name for him, but he had that hit on commercial, nearly had a pick six. He's going to really want that one, you know, he, you can see the anger after the play, you know, he really, really wanted that one. Look at the replay here, backpedaling in nice and slow, he can see where the quarterback's looking. As soon as he makes that pursuit so close, number one nearly got that ball picked off by number 21. Driving hard on a the football, they were trying to get the ball to Simon Till. Back to the live action, fourth and 12, punt. Rams kicker on, ball is up. Bounces at the 50, takes a roll to the academy 43, which is where they will take over on this 90 yard field. So some great defense there. We saw a lot of the stars there in action. We saw Mustache Arthur, we saw Maddie Kruger, we saw some plays from Bartholomew. The, the standout on that drive was the play of number 21 of the NFL Academy. That was definitely, I would say, the Rams' best drive so far in this whole game. You know, they've really stepped out with a little bit more energy. They're coming a little bit more aggressive, you know. So let's see what the NFL Academy can do now and Troni back on offense. Troni to the sideline, dropped. Wow, a rare mistake that time. Troni is still in. Number 21, we think, is Nathan Owusu Ansa, who made the play on that one, uh, the previous set of downs, rather. So, a great play from him on that uh, last series to force the Rams to punt. A little bit of a lull in the action here seen some great play from both defenses haven't we and when i spoke to the offensive line coach for the nfl academy he was saying you know on that series of downs where the nfl academy were at, camped on the rams three yard line trying to get in it was a little bit frustrating for him he was saying uh, because he knew did gavin collins the offensive line coach for the nfl academy that uh, you know the offensive line made a couple of errors but it was the magic of training which got him out of trouble wasn't it in that first half Sometimes that's what happens, Kyle, you know, sometimes, you know, in football, you know, you need everyone as a unit to do their job. But sometimes there's those great athletes that even if your team make a mistake, you're able to then rectify it by being a great athlete and getting yourself open, you know. So great play by Tony to be able to rectify that mistake by the O-line. Empty set for Troni, five targets. We'll go to the flat and hit Ben Lax, who tries to run his way out of the tackle. Do manage to get his shoestrings. Academy going fast again, moving the sticks. First down to Lax. Empty set again for training. You can just see that the NFL Academy are used to this. There's no time to celebrate. It's just straight into the next play. This one incomplete up into the air. Tries to get it to Lax again on a little out pass, but uh, no joy. Second and ten. Looks like Seelix in slot now. There's no running backs in the backfield. Let's see what Troni can do. Seelix now does come, stands next to Troni and says, wrap around handoff to Justice Seelix. He'll pick up a couple. Decent pursuit from the Rams defense and Timo Hannibold on the tackle.
second and ten. Kiwi's going to scramble this one and he will get the pass off to Tietz. So it's actually number 19 who's in as the NFL Academy quarterback now. It's not Troni. It's Warren Congolo who's come in. Saw Congolo play as Troni's back up a number of times. A bigger athlete. You can see there the strength to keep on his feet and find Tietz for a first and goal now from the seven for the academy. Nice play from Congolo. Dropping again, goes back of the end zone, looking for Tietz. Uh, incomplete, just a little bit too long. Just a little bit too long there, you know, but you can see that Dominic is hungry. He wants that, that second touchdown, you know, but great play by the QB to be able to get himself open and, you know, have time and the opportunity to throw that ball. So Congolo on. But no drop off on the pace and tempo of this NFL Academy team. Oh, the snap's gone past Congolo. He will pick it up. It's Seelig actually picks it up. And running down the sideline, dodging a win. <laughs> Unbelievable play. Just as Seelig picks up the, the, the snap and takes it 30 yards into the end zone on a, on a busted play. Which the Rams should have been all over. Just an individual brilliance from Justice Seelig. And that's just what coaches are looking for. You know, when coaches in the States are looking for players that they want to transition over to that next level, they're looking for players that can hustle, you know. Everyone was a little bit starstruck. They didn't know what was going on. Seelik was able to pick that ball up and just be able to run in and score. You know, that's another touchdown for the NFL Academy. Even when it goes wrong, if you're the NFL Academy, it can still go right. It went right for Justice Seelig on that one. Andy Quinn... This will be a fake. Troni fakes it. Caught. That's a great catch by Massage Arthur, the linebacker on the fake kick. Rolls out. Does Troni? We know he's the holder. Dangerous passer. And Arthur gets a point on the board. Two points on the board for himself. He'll be happy with that. Isn't that amazing, Cal? A linebacker getting the opportunity to even score touchdowns. It's just, just the creativity, you know. They're, they're expecting for it to be a kick, you know. Andy Quinn, here's the replay here. You know, just, just, just so creative, you know, by the NFL Academy there in the back for you. Know, everyone's expecting the kick. You can see that the, this is the fake, the, the snap, that Congolo wasn't even aware. The ball was snapped. And then Selig, the only one at the NFL Academy, doing everything. Everyone's sort of standing around looking at him. He takes it all the way into the end zone. Just masterclass. This is a typical Friday Night Lights. You know, what did we expect? Nothing more than a game. And here's the fake. See Masash Arthur escaping to the back of the end zone and Troni finds him. So the NFL Academy with Razzle Dazzle really putting the Nuremberg Rams to the sword here. Score here 49 nothing. Nearly at that 50 burger already. And we're just uh, about midway through Q3. Do you think, is there any European competition that you think the NFL Academy can have? They're going to have to rethink, you know, who they find as opponents because these are one-sided affairs we're watching. And that's not to, to, to any detriment to the teams who play. They're you know, well-coached, well-drilled teams. I mean, Kyle, I, I don't think there is, to be honest, you know, even from when I was playing in the Academy, you know, from 2019 to 2022, you know, we, we didn't find a European team that were, you know, good enough to beat us, you know. If you're out there, the NFL Academy would love to hear from you. As Quinn kicks that ball into the end zone. The Rams showed some signs on offense that they can get stuff moving. So difficult for these European teams. So much talent that the NFL Academy have to pull from. You know, they obviously any place outside of North America is where they get the talent from. So they get South American athletes, European, uh, programs in Africa now that are attracting just tremendous talent from that continent. So it's always a tough ask for these uh, European teams to come over and play. The play they do and they give their all and the Rams are giving everything they've got tonight. Hand off. Pick up a half a yard. Roger Goodell, referee on that far sideline. 
doing his thing tonight. Thank you to the referees that come all the way from Bafra to make sure the regulations are adhered to here at the NFL Academy ground. Quarterback <laughs> goes back trying to make something happen down the right hand side and it's underthrown but a flag goes in and that is likely going to be pass interference. against Max Bartholomew, who's had an immaculate game so far as Max. Had to make a kick return and had a couple of nice tackles. And I think he's going to get called on that. Yep, it's going to be a PI call, pass interference. The receiver was trying to get the ball, but number 20 just got in the way, you know, impeding him from being able to catch that ball. So, yeah, that is going to be a penalty on that play there. 15 yarder, if you're watching... It's a 15-yard foul in this format of the game rather than a spot foul, as you would see in the NFL. And if you have tuned into on the NFL UK channel, you are watching the NFL Academy set up in 2019 as a center to attract some of the best talent from anywhere outside North America for players all over the world to create life-changing opportunities for these student athletes aged 16 to 19. Combining their education with an elite football program, and that is what you're watching. And you're also watching the Nuremberg Rams, who have a very similar setup in Nuremberg in Germany, flown out here to Loughborough to take on the NFL Academy tonight. The NFL Academy currently up 49 to nothing. If you're interested in either of these organizations, you can find them online as that ball gets back to the sideline and caught and then dropped. So they're going to call it incomplete, didn't make a football move. Trying to get the ball to Simon Till, defended well by Kimai Orgil. That was a great play by the DB right there, you know. Receiver thought he caught the ball, didn't hold on tight enough. The DB came and was able to strip that ball. So, you know, it's always about going after the wide receiver, even when they think that they've caught the ball, to be able to strip that ball afterwards. Second and ten for the Rams. Ten yards away from NFL territory. Low snap. Lost this run up and picked off. That's a big interception there. And it's Farrell Harwood. That's a linebacker back there covering against that wide receiver. Just does a fantastic job of bringing it down. Quarterback had spotted it, that coverage, but interception. Here's the replay there, Paul. Low snap again by the center. Q QB just throws that ball and you could see he was trying to get the ball to you know, but linebacker was there to be able to intercept that ball. Just a great coverage package. Hey, 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 had to drop way, way down. This penalty was against the Rams. So obviously, the academy will decline it. So, Farrell Harwood with the kick. And he'll get to wear the chains on the sideline. Things just keep get, getting better and better for this NFL Academy squad. wearing those chains. That's what they do if you get a turnover, they put those chains around. Did that ever happen to you? Oh, back to the action court. Jaden Smith gets in the game with a reception. Congolo still out there, quarterback. Player down. That was a great catch there by Jaden Smith. You know, Jaden Smith is a young rookie. Used to previously be at um, the London Warriors. He still plays there occasionally, you know. So it's great to see him getting in, getting some reps. You know, first play in and you're getting a catch. You know, those are those are the things that the coaches would love to see. You know, to get you some more reps in the game. And the academy now causing plays on offense and now getting turnovers on defense as well. And all of their Units now on full cylinder. 
We had a couple of injuries we talked about, but it's no. It's always when you think the star players go down. We know that Arthur Debochi picked up uh, an injury against Dusseldorf, and we know also that um, Seb Harris was injured on the side of one of the, star, the academy star receivers. But when you've got such a talented roster such as this, you know there's no drop in, in play, is there? Not at all, Carly, you know, and I feel like that's what the academy's building, you know, they're building quality across the whole team and not just individual players, you know, the individual players, of course, make the team better, you know, but even, you know, with missing some of the star players, you know, you wouldn't even be able to see on the field that, you know, they're missing because the quality hasn't dropped off at all. The big news, of course, coming out of that international player pathway, we saw the highlights at halftime, is the, is the signing of Lewis Rees Zamet who's just got that big contract with the Kansas City Chiefs, a three-year contract to go to the Chiefs. I mean, amazing that he's gone from uh, that, that, playing rugby in Wales and now he's you know, going to fly out to Kansas and start a contract in the NFL. It's so amazing, you know, and me being a Chiefs fan myself, you know, it's a big, big addition to our team, you know, having that extra little bit of speed, you know, Tyreek Hill, you know, being gone, Reece Samet, you know, hopefully can come in and, you know, be that great addition and, you know, big shout-out to... James Cook and all the IPT, you know, team that have done phenomenal work, you know, getting these athletes to where they need to be, you know, Travis Clayton, you know, and all these other athletes, you know, so really, really looking forward to seeing what they can do in pre-season and, you know, let's see how Lewis does in the NFL. I mean, you converted from another sport to, to play American football and come and play at the NFL Academy, didn't you? I mean, in terms of the, I'll come back to you on that question, but have a think about what Zamet will need to do, you know, going straight up into the NFL league. Warren Congolo still with an empty set. He'll go to the flat this time. That's Adrian, and he's going to take it to the house. Flag is down, however. It may be coming back. That's Adrian Maluka with the Congolo's quick dump off pass and all the way back for the touchdown. But we'll get a check on the flag. More than likely going to be a block. And it is a hold. illegal hold. First down to the academy, but it will go 10 yards back from where that flag was thrown. So Adrian's touchdown will be taken off the board. Yeah, I mean, the adjustment for Zamet to make in terms of learning a whole new sport, is that, I mean, how challenging is that going to be for him? I think it's definitely challenging, you know, but I feel like, you know, the athlete that he is, he's, he's a professional, you know, he's come from professional rugby, so, you know, he's been used to learning and, you know, doing different things in rugby. Obviously not exactly the same as American football, you know, but he's a professional and I think he'll lock in and do what he needs to do to transition well. Empty set for Congolo, dropping back and he will go deep again to the end zone. Incomplete flag down, probably going to be a pass interference. Trying to get the ball to Jaden Smith was Congolo. Just that little nudge at the end, the back of the end zone, wasn't it, to, to call, to, to bring that flag out. It looks like Jaden, you know, potentially could have had that, you know, defense DB just pushed him off slightly, you know, as you saw Jaden dropped a little bit, you know, so probably going to be a call on the Rams. So, this time the penalty goes against the Rams on the passing field, it's cool. They will take the academy down to the 13 yard line first and 10 Congolo still out empty set trips to his left and now he gets a fourth receiver in a wing back position but he keep it himself the big running of Congolo defensive line does a nice job of dragging him down. It's a big quarterback, Congolo, isn't it? He is quite a big quarterback, you know, and he does have the ability, even, you know, with his height and his size, you know, to still throw that ball, run and, you know, still get elusive, you know. Normally when quarterbacks are so big, they tend to just throw the ball, you know, but not Congolo in this instance. Warren Congolo back in a trony. And of course, we also are aware they've got their third caller back as well Jules Baron who we've not seen yet but you did see him making his commitment to Kingston Cougars 
earlier on in the show tonight. So talent quarterback for the NFL Academy on display. Two backs in the backfield with Congolo this time. He's got Adrian Malaka and he's got Isaac Fuller in the backfield with him. This blows. Play will start. Malaka had one wiped off the board from that penalty. I wonder if they'll give it to Adrian Malaka. They do, they give it to him to see whether he can get the six points and he got taken off him and he does. So Adrian Maluka bulldozes his way into the end zone for six, just what he deserved. As they say, Carl, the ball never lies, you know, so he deserved that touchdown. You know, he ran in, great TD from before, got taken, up, taken back from the four, so, you know, great and well-deserved to him to get another six. So Maluka on the board. Flag down again, however. Now, it might be dead ball foul. The touchdown might stand. We'll have to wait and see. The touchdown will stand. Maluka would have been unlucky if he got another touchdown. I mean, how times has poor lad got to run into the end zone? All the flags coming in, but he did get in. They're not going to take it off him. But the uh, the penalty will be enforced on the kickoff after Quinn has a go at this extra point. NFL Academy now with a 50 burger. Score currently at 55 to nothing, and Quinn will make it 56. So, 56 to nothing. The academy in charge. Just to give some praise to Andy Quinn, you know, I don't think he's he's missed a field goal yet. You know, besides the block at the start, he's been so consistent. You know, with his kicks, you know, just even through this win, it's just been amazing. Here's the replay on the touchdown to Maluka. Nice blocking on the edge. And Luca just won't be denied. Drives his way through two tackles. Using his skills to get in. Quinn converts. 56 nothing. It's another long highlight reel for the NFL Academy tonight. Another, another long highlight row, as you said, Kyle, you know, who would have thought, you know, we thought that this game would have been a little bit different, you know, a little bit more competition, you know, but the NFL Academy again, you know, still seem to stay victorious, and, you know, just dominating all over Europe. Academy will have to kick off from their own 15 yard line after that big personal foul so the Rams will have a good chance at a return picked up at their own 25 and that's a good return out to the sideline knocked out of bounds finally at the 36 where the Rams will take over one of their best field positions of the night this isn't it for them so this is a chance if they're going to do something in this game you know take a score back to Nuremberg with them and get one off this tough academy defense he has a good chance this is the perfect opportunity you know that was a great you know kick return you know by number 12 and you know as you said Kyle, this is an opportunity to finally try to get some points you know put put your offense on the map you know your, your wide receivers it's time to use them First and ten. No, 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 no. <laughs> Quarterback's going to keep this one himself. Now has to reverse direction and just slides down. Looked like a bit of a busted play. Got a new quarterback in now. Elijah Goldstein in quarterback for the Rams. And the 
Second and 11. Goldstein hands this one off. And it's going to go nowhere. NFL Academy. Dump. Leon Hackle. Nowhere to go. Loss of a yard. Third and 11. A lot of these players in the NFL Academy, of course, have been attracted from other teams in Europe. And the NFL Academy went out to play Dusseldorf last week. You know, there was lots of players that actually were playing for the NFL Academy, but previous to that had been playing for Dusseldorf. As this third and 11 will try and go deep and well defended in the end. Good position. These defensive backs have not given anything up to me. Here's a replay, Kyle. You know, great defense by Kings. You know, QB, first time we've seen the QB throw a long ball here and, you know, try to get to receiver, but the DB was there, able to try to defend that over the wide receiver, number 12. Florian Cafuta was the target. He's been one of their great talents for this Rams team. Fourth and 11, it's the familiar formation for the Rams of the punt. This will be a low kick, which will take a nice bounce. And it's going to be Maluka with some big space down the right-hand side. Finally bumped out of bounds, but not before he gets into Rams territory. Again, Adrian Maluka with the return. You can see that he's hungry, you know. He got one touchdown taken away from him. He wants that second one again, you know, to be able to, you know, get back that touchdown that he lost. Here's the replay on that punt return. Good blocks going in there from Lax. Maluka finds the edge. And a couple of players to beat. But wide more. Bobby Bridges now on quarterback for the NFL Academy. Third quarterback. Completion to Tietz out into the flat. So Bobby Bridges playing under Friday Night Lights. Just to show what he can do as well, number 17. Third quarterback in. Jason Stonkerath still in there, TX still in there. So still those uh, good receiving package for Bobby Bridges to work with. As you mentioned, Kyle, you just even the quality of level of all the quarterbacks that have come in, you haven't seen the, the drop in ability. All the quarterbacks look so in tune and you know. Try to get that one to stop Grath with Bridges. Stop Grath couldn't hold on. Third and seven now coming up for Bobby Bridges. From the UK is Bobby. Recruited right here. Empty set. Bridges. Lots of time. Now the pressure comes. Rolls. Finds his dump off pass. And that will go for a first down again. Nice throw and catch. Stomp Barath making himself available to the quarterback. Sticks will move. Academy keep piling it on. Doesn't matter who they put in there. Doesn't matter, as I said, and you know, we have no running back team, so now you can see that they're starting to work that passing game just a little bit more. and we'll see what the quarterback can do in this instance. Bridges incomplete over the middle of that time, trying to get the ball to hit that big tight end. TX. Some of you will notice that Brian Winter, the familiar number seven jersey, not on the field tonight. He's missed the last couple of games. How's his status at the moment? 
you know, Brian's doing well, you know, he's just recovering from a late injury, you know, from one of the last games, but, you know, he's a soldier, he's always doing his rehab, you know, so he's looking forward to being, you know, in the next game, but, yeah, as I said before, you know, the quality, you know, even without Brian being in, you can still see the energy and, you know, the team still putting on a great performance. Yeah, Seb Harris out. Brian Winter out, and it means that Stomp Garath has stepped up. It means that Matthew Akinardi stepped up. You know, these other players get a chance to show what they can do as well, don't they? Definitely, and, you know, knowing that some of these players, like, you know, Wint, Brian Winter and, you know, Arthur, they're, they're all going to be, you know, going to America very, very soon. So, you know, this is a great opportunity for, you know, the, the younger guys that may not be, you know, at the top of death chart at the moment to really get this opportunity and this game experience, you know, so that when they do go, they know that it's going to be their chance to step up and, you know, start to be those leaders. Joseph Williams enters the game running back for the NFL Academy. Bridges and Winters, they make up the Academy backfield. Williams will go in motion. Snap, flag, play blown dead. Likely false start from the offense. Been very few mistakes in the NFL Academy offense in this game. And indeed it wasn't it wasn't a mistake from the academy offense on that one either defense offside with contact there it is edit bocek gets called the rams will be marched five yards further into their own half second and five in the academy. This is such a disciplined team, Kai, you know, as you, as you mentioned, you know, we, we thought that it was the NFL Academy, but it wasn't, you know, they're just such a very, very disciplined team, you know, that they don't really cause many mistakes or, you know, they're very, very drilled and very disciplined and you can see that's, a, that's one of the reasons why they're leading this game so much. It's the end of Q3 here at the University of Loughborough and the NFL Academy are winning and winning big, 56 to nothing to the Nuremberg Rams against the Nuremberg Rams rather and you know as far as the game goes they're going to call it right there at the end of Q3 and this happens sometimes when you've got a big score they've had a couple of injuries you know and uh, we've seen enough so they're going to call it the NFL Academy head coach Steve Hagen and the head coach Josh Alazy uh, agreed to call the game there. And it's been a, you know, it's been great to see the academy do so well tonight. We've also seen a lot from the Rams. Definitely, Kyle. You know, and these things happen sometimes. You know, great performance by both teams. You know, this is this is a great opportunity. You know, for some of those young guys on the Rams team to get exposure. You know, to you know, a great team like the NFL Academy versus you know some great competition and this will definitely make them better players you know when they go back to their respective teams and you know play other teams in the future we're going to have a look at some second half touchdowns for you in a second but you know all the cracks have to from credit to the rams for coming out here as we look at these uh, second half highlights this was early on just the play of that relentless defense just uh that was Masash arthur and matty kruger <laughs> Here's that second half touchdown. This first one was a great run by Justice Seelig to pick up the fumbled snap. It's amazing here, you know, everyone was so confused, didn't know what was going on, you know, but Seelig, you know, so attentive and switched on, you know, he was able to pick up that ball and, you know, return it to the end zone for six. Now, when you get into these games for the academy, you want to try different things out. If you watch Nasash Arthur, number two, at that line of screens, watch him release, Troni release, and this was the conversion that went for two points to the linebacker massage arthur who shows he's got some hands you know linebackers you know they don't normally you know get themselves open like that but you can clearly see that this is something that they've trained on before you know do the unexpected now, this was a great play watch number 57 in motion he's got the motioning uh receiver and watch him get up to pick that ball off that was farrell harwood who's going against the rams Florian Kafuta, who we know is a great athlete, and that's a linebacker on a wide receiver making a great play. Yeah. 
And, you know, just to finish it off here, we had Adrian, you know, that was deserving of another touchdown after his touchdown was taken back, you know, as he barrels his way into the end zone. You know, just great display and great plays by, you know, all players on the NFL Academy. Andy Quinn. Andy Quinn's been great tonight, converted everything. Not uh, what, Missed one kick, which I think was the second extra point, but other than that, been immaculate, and that was a block. So tonight, then, it's been all NFL Academy. Again, this has been their third game, and it's a shutout. Uh, we've thoroughly enjoyed our time here tonight. It's always great to see you to Shane. I hope to see you very soon. It's always great to see you too, Carl, man. You know, what a great night for us to commentate you know friday night lights at loughborough university you know such a great display by you know the nfl academy and you know i can't wait to see you know them take on more and better teams in the future thank you ever so much for joining us on the nfl uk stream uh, so grateful to have you with us and if you've enjoyed it and you're interested in finding out more about the nfl academy or even becoming one of the superstar players here we're going to show you exactly how you can do it it's good night from the university of loughborough we'll see you soon Take care. All right. All right. All right. I'm to announce you that I officially commit to. Officially commit to. I would like to say that I'm committing to. Can't wait to announce to the world where I'll be going to. Temple University. Northwestern University. Northwestern University. University. University of Tennessee. You come to the NFL Academy for a reason. This is the UK-based player development program for student athletes. It's like football Hogwarts. It's incredible. You want to be here to play the best, become the best, and realize your future. There's only one NFL Academy in the world, and you want to be in the best position to go play college ball in the U.S. This is the place. Students have been here and done it and are living that dream. Our academy is built on the strength of the NFL Shield. Every star on that shield represents excellence, integrity, preparation, and yes, performance at the highest level. When you wear the shield, you're standing on the shoulders of the men and women who have made this game great. Coach Hagan, he represents that. He's been at the best. Cleveland Brown, the New York Jets, Notre Dame, University of North Carolina. He is here to win. We need to see who's smart, who's fast, who can do this fundamentally well, who will do whatever it takes to win and leave no doubt. And when we find those players, we'll have success. This is the place where you can represent your family, your town, your country at the highest level. It ain't easy, and it's not for everyone. But if you willing to commit, we will turn you into a winner. Who's got it better than us? Nobody. We Ain't nobody got it better than us. We hunt. We hunt. We hunt. Let's go. Let's go.